about Newton's second law as an extension of Newton's first law. So Newton's first law states that every object in motion will stay in motion and every object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by a net external force. So when Newton's second law says in motion or at rest, we're talking about two situations where we have an acceleration of zero. So the only way we can actually create an acceleration is that unless part. So unless there's a net external force acting on it. And that brings us to Newton's second law. So when an unbalanced force causes a mass to accelerate, and that is Newton's second law. Though we typically state it a little bit simpler with the equation F equals M times A, where F is force, M is mass, and acceleration is for A. We use Newtons for force, kilograms for mass, and meters per second squared for acceleration as always. So we're going to do two quick examples just to make sure we're all on the same page. So example one says, a five kilogram block is pushed to the right along a frictionless track with a force of 10 newtons. What is its acceleration? Okay. So um, as with most of our force um, problems, we're gonna start with a free body diagram. So we know we're gonna have an object, a block that we're gonna represent as our dot. The forces acting on it are the, the obvious force that is being our push force, but we're also gonna have gravity and a normal force because it is on a frictionless track. There's no friction. It tells us that so we don't have to worry about it. But the other thing we don't have to worry about are the forces in the y direction. The normal force, if you, as you can easily tell from our free body diagram, one normal force is pointing up and is equal and opposite to our gravitational force pulling down. So they will cancel out and not affect our problem at all. So listing our knowns, we know that our mass is five kilograms. We know that our force is 10 newtons, and we want to know what our acceleration is. So we're going to start off with our very simple law, F equals M times A. We're going to rearrange to solve for A, so that becomes force over mass. Plug in our numbers, so we're going to have 10 newtons over 5 kilograms, or an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. We're going to start off real easy here. The only thing we'd have to add to make this problem complete is that we say that we push it to the right. That indicates some sort of direction. Force is a vector, and acceleration is also a vector. So to make sure that we include our direction, we're just going to say to the right. Typically, positive acceleration indicates um, positive in the right direction, but just to be on the safe side, 2 meters per second squared to the right. We're going to take this one step further, um, not too much further though. We have example two, Stan and Steve are pushing a 75 kilogram sled across a frictionless ice rink. If Stan pushes 45 newtons and Steve pushes 55 newtons, what's the acceleration of the sled? So you'll notice that example one and example two are very, very similar to each other. The only difference is that in example two, Stan and Steve are pushing together. So we have two forces acting on the same sled. So we're going to draw that free body diagram. So we know that we're on an ice rink, so we're going to have some sort of force of gravity, some sort of force of normal. They'll cancel out um, as they did in example one. But now we have two forces. We're going to have force of one and force of two. And you can draw them just like that. It indicates that they're going to add together. So when we come down here to write our knowns and our unknowns, our mass is going to be 75 kilograms. And our force is going to be the addition of Stan and Steve pushing together. So we're going to have 45 newtons plus 55 newtons. And that's going to equal a grand total of 100 newtons. And we're still looking for acceleration. So let's go ahead and put that as our unknown, what we're looking for. Okay. So once again, same exact setup. Write your formula. Rearrange for acceleration. We're just dividing mass over. And then plug in your numbers. So in this case, we're going to have a force of 100 newtons combined from Stan and Steve. And we're going to divide that mass of 75. That's going to give us, that's going to give us um, an acceleration of 1.33 meters per second squared. Now, they did not give us a direction in the problem. So we're going to assume that the positive direction is the direction they're pushing. So positive force, positive acceleration. And that completes an introduction to Newton's second law.